Since November 9th, our transition team has been working diligently to prepare for this day and for the work that lies ahead. I'd like to take this public opportunity to personally thank John Weinsaffel and his administration, especially his chief of staff, Rojan. They have been truly, truly tremendous, outstanding folks to work with these last few weeks, and I'd like to thank you. Well, to be inaugurated on January 1st is an ideal beginning to the work that we have before us as a city and a new administration. There's hardly a day on the rest of the calendar that holds more promise than the first day of the year. It's a day filled with anticipation. Anticipation for all those activities and challenges that the year has waiting for us ahead. For us today at Evansville, I believe the new year offers that same promise. I'm here to say that I feel anything I feel little else but anticipation for what lies ahead in 2012. Taking the oath of office as your mayor is a new beginning, not just for me, but for our city. New ideas, new approaches and solutions, new relationships, new leadership. All that begins today on the first day of 2012, as Evansville takes its first step on a new path forward. And in the honor of serving as your mayor, I pray to not to consider that the first year of my administration also falls in our bicentennial year is humbling beyond words. It's my sincere hope that our residents of, of Evans will take this time of the bicentennial to use as a time of reflection and to celebrate and rebirth our community pride. One of our city's most quoted former leaders, a visionary mayor who appreciated the challenge of his era, Benjamin Bossy, had a framed motto in his office. This is what I read. I shall not walk where the path may be. I shall walk where there is no path, and I will leave a trail. Our objective is to leave the city where there is no path, so as to leave a bright and prosperous trail for future generations. We will chart a course that takes Evansville well beyond the crossroads of where it stands today. This new path forward will start with a focus on job creation, public safety, community appearance, neighborhood development, and infrastructure improvement. But the ideas and policies that we implement are only part of the solution. Our new path forward as a city must also include a focus on building new and stronger relationships, opening new lines of communications for our citizens, and improving the content and quality of our public discussions about the tough challenges ahead. Like most cities, our most formidable challenge is getting people back to work, including our brave veterans, many of whom are leaving the danger of war zones to rejoin family and friends. We must be cognizant as a community of their sacrifice and strive to do our best to help them return to the workforce and to an everyday life. I can assure you that we won't always agree on every, every issue and every decision that lies ahead, but I can assure you that we will listen first, treat all sides of the discussion fairly and considerately, and work harder than ever to find common ground, because the future of our city demands nothing less. January 1st, 2012. The first day of the year, the first day as mayor, the first day of a new administration, and the first of many steps Evansville takes on a new path forward. We have a lot of work and more than just a little fun ahead. In fact, the first week of our administration is jam-packed with activities, and I will tell you the pace of week one will be, in, uh, will be indicative of our style and approach to leadership. In closing, let me just reiterate how personally humble I am to have the honor to serve you, to serve as the 34th Mayor of Evansville. I'm very humbled by the responsibilities of the office and the opportunity to be our great city. Thank you for all of your support and for sharing this special day with me and my family. May God bless our city and may God bless America.
At this time, I'd like to call on my police chief designee, Billy Bowen, and his wife, Vincent. Thank you. 